Hello everyone, your boy Bug back with another banger. I am so freaking excited for today's video. What is this kid now doing with his poor, poor truck? Just, you guys are in for a treat. Now you can see we already have one wheel off, which means we have already started to dive into today's video. But let me do some explaining on why we are changing the wheel and tire setup on Clifford, the big red Dodge. I've had this truck, you guys, for over one year now i've had these wheels and tires on it for 10 months out of the 12. you guys a lot of you i have to say have loved this wheel and tire setup it is a 24 by 16 fuel cleavers with a 37 1350 fuel tire that gave it a nice old stretch just look at this those things are monsters now there's also a little section of you guys that have talked so much crap on my wheels and tires and just it's finally, I hate crying on camera. It's finally starting to get to me. I'm breaking down. I can't, I can't do it no more. The hate on the big wheels and tires, I've, ha I've had enough. So today I'm doing what you guys want because my life won't be happy unless I make your guys happy, I guess. That's how life works. So I'm gonna do what you guys wanna see and we're changing the wheels and tires on my truck today. So with all that being said, I now introduce you my new wheel and tire setup that we are getting ready to bolt onto the truck. You guys are quite a bit smaller, but again, I'm doing this to make you guys happy since you don't like the big wheels and tires. Um, well, here's a full review of them. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that size difference. The new wheel and tire setup fits completely in just the wheel of my 24 by 16. The whole, like, outer diameter of the tire is like 21 inches which should be just enough to keep my rear uh, diff from scraping the ground should be you know pretty close this video is for the haters that have always hated the big will and tire setup you guys don't have to worry anymore daddy bug is changing this for you. I also hopped on Amazon and ordered the cheapest three inch wheel spacers I could possibly get my hands on to bolt them to here and then we have to makeshift and engineer a way for these to fit on this because these are aluminum so you can't just weld them to these steel wheels. Uh, so yeah we're gonna do some cutting, get the studs through, put the bolts on, then put it on the truck and hopefully everything's strong enough and I can drive around. Now time to start doing our redneck engineering and fabricating to get those bad boys on this truck because those wheels were just too cool. For this job we're going to be using the handy dandy plasma cutter. You can see our markings here. Um, drilling would have just taken too much time and it would have looked too nice to drill it. So plasma cutter for this job. tire mounted onto the truck with the eight on six and a half wheel spacer um, clearly as you can tell this wheel when it is new is a five lug wheel we converted it to a four lug wheel yet we only have three lug nuts on this one got so jacked up from us trying to hammer this wheel on it completely stripped the threads so we're down to three lug nuts on the driver's side rear Hoping that this will hold up for a nice juicy burnout at the end of the video. I'm not sure if we're going to set this truck down and the tire is just going to pop and the wheel is going to fold in half because this is only rated for 1,000 pounds. You guys, the truck at least weighs 20,000, so I can't believe how funny this looks. It would take three of those little tires to make just one of my 24 by 16s uh, and it looks like we have just enough clearance so that my rear diff is not scraping the ground. Can't wait to set this thing down, test drive it, burn out, climb Mount Everest, drift it. Since we have this original boring wheels on the front and the new awesome classy wheels on the back, I want you guys to go down below in the comment section and let's vote. Let's start a war down below. What looks better you guys? 
no holding back, be honest with me, the new small wheels and tires or the big old wheels and tires, which looks better, let me know. Whatever one wins and gets the most votes down below in the comment section, I am keeping on my truck till I die. Both of the new rear wheels and tires are placed under my truck. It is time to drop this for a test. I'm really hoping that this doesn't just fold and the tire doesn't blow up, but there's only one way to find out. So Hayden, drop her down. Oh, are you gonna be able to get that out? Uh, yeah, I think we might have ran into a, a bigger problem here now. Good thing we have our handy dandy trusty forklift to lift up the rear end so we can get that jack out. So for all of you that are interested in squatted trucks, here you go. The rear end is sitting so much lower. This is nice. This is probably the first time I've been able to actually just open my tailgate without having to jump up, grab the handle, and yank it down. And if all of you are enjoying today's video, definitely go down, show your boy Buck some love, and throw a like. I still cannot get over that size comparison of the wheels I had on it to the new wheels. This is unreal. Since I did have my wheels and tires off, I put one of them up against the burb, and I think that my fuel cleavers with the black lip and the chrome centers look really good on the burb. Who thinks this is going to work or who thinks this has been one big waste of time it's going to completely fail once we start driving it? I am very curious. I'm right now, I'm 50-50. Part of me thinks I'm going to make it about five feet. The wheels are going to collapse and tires are going to pop. And then the other half of me says, oh no, this is going to work great. What do you guys think is going to happen? <laughs> See if the weight of my truck pops these tires. Oh my gosh. We might just need a little more air. This is what we're looking like. <laughs> it looks so funny. Look at that wheel gap right there. I think next we'll have to slam my truck so it has some real like tuner car stance to it. Definitely looks like my truck skipped a leg day. But you guys, these are the world's smallest will entire setup that we could possibly fit on my truck without the rear and front pumpkins dragging the ground. Look at that clearance. There's hardly any there. So like I said, we went as small as we could. It's nearly the same size as my caliper. This is so funny. If you guys have not yet, definitely go down below and leave a fat like on this video because where else are we going to see this? All right, Hayden, so what are we doing right now? We're just inflating this big old bomb. This big old bomb? Yep. You think she's gonna pop on us, maybe? Uh, I hope. All right, start filling her up. Oh! My biggest wish and dream has finally came true. None of you guys can ever make fun of me again. Say I'm compensating, because my big wheels and tires that are stretched. Well, finally, guys, my truck is no longer a mall crawler. I got the little wheel, big tire setup you've all wanted to see since I've owned this truck, so you can no longer complain. I used to have to jump into my truck and just use every bit of energy I have, but now it's sitting about as low as a, I don't know, an M3 BMW, so I can pretty much just Oh, that is so nice. I'm really excited to daily drive it with these wheels and tires, that's for sure. Now, we just gotta hop in this beast, go out, whip some donuts, do some burnouts, snap some axles. But before we do that, I gotta give a huge shout out and credit where it is due. Big thanks to my brother for helping me do this. He spent the last few hours helping me fab everything up. So you guys, definitely go check him out on Instagram. It'll be placed right here. Go spam him, go show him some love, like his pictures. Thanks, Aid. Yeah, you're welcome. Love you, bud.
So the wheel and tires are starting to make a really bad popping sound. I'm pretty sure it's because we plasma cutted the hole for the lug nuts and it's probably just starting to warp itself. But as you can tell, we're still intact and nothing has completely broke yet, which means we're gonna keep going. baby everyone ladies and gentlemen that is what a full sand looks like coming from the one and only your boy bug wow holy crap this is freaking awesome Ooh, look at how nice and toasty that fresh burnt rubber is dang tires are warm heated up gonna get some real good traction I am honestly so shocked oh great there's rubber chunks all over the side of my truck. Uh, I'm very shocked that this has like worked this well. I thought it would have broken a long time ago, but the fact that we even got to spin some tires and everything's still intact, like what more do you guys want? Everyone, this is a prime example on what life is truly all about. I'm having fun, I'm smiling. I'm hoping that this video is making you have fun or smile, laugh, whatever. That's what life is all about. It's too short to not have fun and just do freaking dumb things like this. This is still smoking. Oh, I can't believe how hot it is. Since everything's still intact, uh, let's see if it'll drift.
I don't think there's any better way to wrap up a video than ending it with some nice donuts. If any of you guys wanted donuts for breakfast or lunch or even dinner, here you go. A nice daily dose of them all the way around town. This is most definitely my favorite wheel and tire setup I have ever had in my entire life. These things are amazing, homemade engineering. Um, yeah, they're getting pretty, pretty clumped up with rubber. It's a very soft tire. Here's some more rubber chunks that are still smoking. Said it since day one, baby. Your boy bug is always going to come through with bangers, full send videos. There's no holding back. It's how we live life. And just a friendly reminder, if you guys really did like this video, if you laughed, smiled, cringed, any of those, definitely throw a like. Helps a ton, shows me that you appreciate the time and effort spent into filming, fabricating, and editing my videos. If you want to see more bangers in your near future and want to be up to date on my life, my channel, because every single video is wild like this one, hit that subscribe button with the post notification bell on so you're always the first one to see the chaotic craziness on my channel. If there's any future video ideas you guys have, Definitely leave them down below in the comment section and if I end up using your idea, I will shout you out in the next video. Other than that, your boy Bug is out. I hope you guys had an awesome day. Hopefully this cheered you guys up, made your day even better. That's again, all I hope for on my channel and I can't wait to see all of you again in the next video. So until then, your boy Bug is out. I love you. Peace. Happy